Hey, you guys. Hi, you guys. <laughs> I am so happy to see you. Welcome to our special Martin Luther King Day art lesson. I am thrilled to be here with you. So I'm Denise with Artist at Heart Paint Party. Sorry, I'm trying to get my right. I have so many things I want to share with you guys today. So all you have to have for supplies, a pencil. If you have an eraser, that's awesome too. We can do a lot of shading with a pencil. Some paper would be great. You can use computer paper, scrap paper, recycled paper, any supplies that you have are great. If you guys have crayons and colored pencils also, you can do that. So whatever supplies you have, I'm gonna sketch it out step by step. And I want to share with you a little bit about Martin Luther King. And Joe, who is my nephew, is behind the scenes. And I just wanna tell you a little bit about Martin Luther King's life. So Joe, do you see, um, can you start right here and just share these one by one as I read them? So I'll start with the first one. So here is Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was born in Atlanta, Georgia in 1929. At that time, in, the part of, in that part of the country, segregation or the separation of races in places like schools, buses, and restaurants was the law. He was ex experienced racial. He experienced racial prejudice from the time he was very young, which inspired him to dedicate his life to achieving equality and justice for Americans of all colors. King believed that peaceful refusal to obey unjust law was the best way to bring about social change. The key there is peaceful. Dr. Martin Luther King was all about being peaceful. And that's really, really important. So King and his wife Coretta Scott King led demonstrators on the fourth day of the historic five-day march in 1965, starting in Selma, Alabama, where local African Americans had been campaigning for the right to vote. King led thousands of nonviolent demonstrators 54 miles to the state capital of Montgomery. That's really, really important. Again, it was a very peaceful demonstration. And I think this is really important history that everyone needs to know about. King was arrested several times during his lifetime. In 1960, he joined black college students in the sit uh, in at a segregated lunch counter. Presidential candidate John F. Kennedy interceded to have King released from jail, an action that is credited with helping Kennedy win the presidency speaking out. King inspired a large crowd with one of his many speeches. Raised in a family of preachers, he is considered one of the greatest, greatest speakers in U.S. history. I need a lesson. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. But, um, you know, he is, was an incredible speaker and is, again, to this day, and watch one of his speeches. It's amazing. Uh, so he's definitely an inspiration to me and to so many others. King waves to supporters from the steps of the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. during the March on Washington. There he delivered the I have a speech dream. Oh my God, I have a dream speech, which boosted public support from the civil rights. So sorry, you guys. Again, I make mistakes, so I don't speak as beautifully as Martin Luther King did. Uh, but he is a powerful speaker. And President Lyndon B. Johnson shakes Martin Luther King's hand at the signing of the landmark 1964 Civil Rights Act, which outlawed racial segregation in publicly owned facilities. Huge, huge, huge. His wife, Coretta Scott, oh, yeah, sit with the three 
of their four, so he has four kids, in Atlanta, Georgia, home in 1963. His wife shared the same commitment to ending the racist system they had both grown up under. King receives the Nobel Peace Prize uh, from the president in Norway on December 10th, 1964. That's again, amazing and huge. And this is sad. A crowd of mourners follows the casket of King through the streets of Atlanta, Georgia, after his assassination in April 4th, 1968. King was shot by James Earl Ray on the balcony of the Lorraine Motel. Americans honor the civil rights activists on the third Monday of January each year, Martin Luther King Day. So today's art lesson is in honor of Martin Luther King Jr., which is a huge person in my life that inspires me that I want to be more like as much as possible. And I was a Cleveland art teacher for 20 years and I taught in the most diverse setting. I had a diverse population of kids ranging from all ethnicities as well as, uh, you know, just in so many ways. And I would always teach them that they are living the dream with the Hispanic and the Asian and the white and the black all in school together, learning together, friends, you know, and I don't think so many kids today understand it because, you know, they don't even look at their friends that way. They just, they're their friends. So it's just a very interesting dynamic and kids, we all have to learn from kids as well as Dr. Martin Luther King. So he's my inspiration and I want to share some art with you today. So again, whatever you have to draw with, I'm actually going to try to sketch out uh, Dr. Martin Luther King with a pencil and I'm going to hope that you guys can see it on the camera. And again, I want to keep today's lesson pretty simple. I don't want to paint it, but if you choose to paint it, that's great. So a good shape for his head would be like an oval shape. All right. And I'm going to see if you guys can see this because usually I use a black marker. And I'm sketching it out. Can you see that okay? Actually, let me go back to the comments so I can tell what you guys are saying. All right, and Joe's here. So Joe, if you need to put up a banner, let me know that people can't see. I'll go to a black marker, but I wanted to sketch it out today with pencil. Let me try black marker. I just want to make sure you can see it okay. I'm gonna put his hairline here and I'm gonna make it a little bit wavy because we wanna give his hair the look like there's texture to it. So it textures the way something feels. So I'm gonna make a wavy line there. And the one eyebrow I'm gonna make, again, wavy to make it look like he has a little bit of texture. I'll put the other eyebrow right around here. I'm going to put a line inside of his ear here. Thank you. 
give him his neck here. He usually had a tie on. He in a suit, actually, I shouldn't just say a tie. He was very well dressed. He always looked in it like in a suit and a tie. So you can dress him however you want to. And I want to show you a few examples of other artworks that you can do. I, this is just to inspire you and give you guys some ideas and give you a little bit of information about uh, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Also, I highly recommend if you haven't watched our friend Martin, I used to show it to the students all the time. It's uh, about a, a little less than an hour long. I did post the link on my Facebook page. You can find it on YouTube. And it is an extremely powerful, uh, historic, made for children movie, but adults love it too. So I definitely, it's our friend Martin. If you haven't seen it already, I highly recommend it. There's some samples of artwork. Joe, if you could post some of the pictures, just one at a time, of some other ideas. I just want to inspire you guys with some, uh, so there is a black and white, right? And those lines that create the shading is uh, called cross hatching. So cross hatching is a form of shading. So artists can use that with simple lines to create shadows. So that could also create the illusion of a three-dimensional effect, right? So look at his his suit and his tie solid black, but then you have the, his hair solid black and then his mustache and brows are solid black. And then a lot of the shadowing is created with lines. Okay, Joe, let's see another one. And then again, I just wanted to show you guys, look at the texture of his hair, right? So, and it takes practice, but that is what I mean. When you color, you can use, look at the simple lines that create his suit, the simple lines in his mustache or in his eyebrow, and then his curly hair. Okay, Joe. I love this one. Okay. So look at, again, you can do all of this with charcoal or even a crayon, but look at, let's see if I can do this, the texture here, right? So this is a value shading. So really, really dark. So you can color really dark with your pencil to get that deep, uh, ebony color and then the shadowing of his hand and the shadowing of his face to give it the illusion that it's three-dimensional so that takes practice right and you can see it's hard for me to point on the screen look at the direction of the lines right they're going as he this is shaded it's all going in a diagonal direction thanks Joe. <laughs> So again, this takes practice, but you guys can do it. So draw it out, sketch it out. It doesn't have to be the drawing like mine, but you can do it with a pencil or a crayon or color pencils. I know there's more samples I want to show you again, just to inspire you guys. So you can see how you can use crayons or color pencils. So Joe, you want to show a few more samples? Okay. Again, unity. Yes, we can. Powerful. Trace your hands. Show different colors. People's silhouettes in the background. Brown crayon to color it. His skin color. He has a suit on that's blue. I love that. Okay, next one. I have a dream. Love that. I think that's so cute. That's just, again, free drawn by a student. Cute curly hair. I have a dream with his, again, his most powerful quote. I have a dream and all about equality. Martin Luther King, very nice. Okay, those are just some samples to inspire you guys. So I wanted to share that with you before I start doing my Martin Luther King. So I'm gonna just start with pencil. And just like the sample that I just showed you, when I do cross hatching or shading, I'm gonna go in the same direction. So I am gonna use a diagonal line to shade in his nose, to give it the look that it's dimensional, so it's not so flat. Again, you can leave him flat if you want to, but the shading will give the illusion that it's dimensional. So I'm just using a regular pencil here. And I'll just even start shading. So right, I drew it out in black marker, which I don't think you guys should do. I just did it that way so you can see it better on camera. And now I'm just going diagonally and I'm overlapping. And you can go as dark or as light as you want in the shading.
All right, now, so that's just like a little way to get us started. And again, I wanna keep this lesson simple. And hey, Charlotte and Tatum, I'm glad you guys are joining us. And I know who else was here. Uh, Danny is here and Isabella is here. Oh, graphite pencils, that's awesome. Whatever you guys have, again, when, when you do this, I think I think this looks great if you shade it all in with a pencil. And again, a graphite pencil, it's a nice dark pencil. So um, you can use, again, anything that you want to, to shade it in. And you can go as dark, so I'll just do like, so now I'm pressing harder with my pencil to do his eyebrows. So it's like you're coloring it in, but you're using a pencil. You could be using a, a regular school pencil, number two pencil, ebony pencil, graphite pencil to shade it in. So at, I'm hoping now you at least have it sketched out, that something that you want to color in. And I want to show you one that's colored. So you can use crayons, color pencils. So I just have colored pencils here. I have some crayons, so I'm gonna use both just to show you guys. I got just a few different techniques here. I, if you want, you can use the pencil the entire time. So I'm gonna go back to his eyebrow and shade in the other one. So the, again, this is called value. When you shade, let's do like, you see how right here it's a little bit darker. So I'm just gonna use, see it, I'm using diagonal lines as I'm shading it in. And you could do it on this side too. And he has that little cleft right there in his chin. So you can shade that. And again, I'm just gonna shade a little bit with my pencil first, just to give you an idea. And then I'm going to start using my crayons and my color pencils. And then that pupil, so you want to leave a little bit of a dark, uh, like the pupil's dark, but you can leave a little white highlight in his eye. So when you color, I'm going to, I'm going to jump over to my crayons now, my color pencil. Let's do the color pencils. So I have, I have two different browns here, and mine are Crayola, so one is Brown Cafe, and one is Light Brown, so I'm gonna start with Light Brown. And if you don't have color pencils, you can use crayons, or again, you can leave it just black and white. It's up to you, because it's your artwork. So I'm gonna leave a highlight here. So the way to do that is I'm just gonna leave the paper white, and I'm gonna use diagonal pencil lines as I shade in his forehead. And again, I want to leave that highlight. Now, what if I forget and I color the whole thing in? Well, if you have an eraser, you can go back in and bring out some of the highlight with an eraser. So again, I as I color, you want to go in the same direction. So I don't want to scribble and have my color pencil go in every direction. So I'm choosing to color in a diagonal direction. And I'm pressing pretty light. Now, as I get to this side of his face, it's a little bit deeper brown, right? So I'm pressing a little bit harder. I'm overlapping a little bit more. So you can see the color is getting more intense. Shows off school today for Martin Luther King Day. So Joe's going to help behind the scenes for a little while. So all I did, again, I'm using the light brown color pencil. If you, let's just say, I have a brown Crayola crayon here. If you wanted to use crayon, you would do the same thing. Color in a diagonal direction. And then you can press harder where you want it 
brown a little bit more brown you can overlap it a little bit more and then as you get to the other side go lighter 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 so this side is a little bit lighter because the light source is coming from here and that's why his forehead has the white highlight reflection So I like crayons because I don't have to keep sharpening it. I like color pencils because I have a little bit more control. Again, it's it's up to you. You can make it as big or as small as you want to. Eight and a half by eleven computer paper is great. If you have big, you know, big paper, that's fine too. If you have scrap paper, that's great. Whatever notebook paper, whatever you have to create on. And you guys know the more you do it, the better you're going to be at it. So maybe this is something you do a couple times. So again, his nose, because it's not flat, even though it's, it's the illusion, right? We know it's a flat piece of paper, but we want to create the illusion that it's dimensional. So the highlight would be the top of his nose. So we don't want to color it too dark. So I'm just going to, again go over it and you can shade it with pencil and then go over it with crayon as well. I'm right, I'm right now I'm still using my brown crayon. It's a little bit darker under his eye. Just a little bit. Don't want to give him a black eye. And then same thing here. I'm just going to kind of shade down here. A little bit of shading in here. So I'm pressing a little bit harder with my crayon. So I just want you guys to see the difference between the crayon and the color pencil. No right or wrong. So again, I'm still using, no matter what I'm using, regular pencil, color pencil, or crayon, I'm using diagonal pencil strokes. The more I overlap them, the deeper the color is going to get, the harder I press, the deeper the color is going to get. The lighter I go, so if I'm going really, really light here, hey Deanne, hi Charlotte and Tatum. Yeah, someone was just saying that it was pretty faint. And I want you guys to be able to see it. So I don't usually draw in pencil. I usually draw in black marker just so you can see it better. But so many people want to draw in black because I'm drawing in black. And I just I want you to draw in pencil. So and I'm just kind of jumping around. You don't have to jump around. You can stay in one area. So this is something, again, this is a really nice activity to take your time. Don't rush, practice shading, try cross hatching, right? So that would be, again, this, this particular one, I'm doing all these lines, but look at all the different lines. See the direction of the lines following? It follows the shape. It follows all the different textures of line. This is all pencil, no color pencil. his neck back there right so his neck to make it look like the face is popping out this would be darker so I'm pressing harder I'm gonna go back to my crayon <laughs> I have an easier time coloring harder or 
better with my crayon on this. When I use my colored pencil, I push the stand back. So I don't want that to happen. Coloring it in with diagonal brush strokes. So I love, again, our friend Martin is an animated movie with all kinds of huge names with their voices. Whoopi Goldberg and Oprah Winfrey and Martin Lawrence, just an incredible cast of characters and it's all well it's animated and then they flash to like historic scenes in it very powerful maybe today you could write you know you could do some writing as well you can write about martin luther you can write a poem Just remember he was all about peace and love, right? And equality, peace and love and equality. Acceptance, understanding, empathy. I'm going to go into it with some black. Where's my black crayon? Oh, that's not black. That's it's a broken crayon, but it was something about my black. Here's a black. Okay. Let's go. I'm going to go into his eyes a little bit with some black. So I'm just using a black crayon right now. Okay, add a little bit of black to his brows, kind of going in a curly Q motion, curly Q, like little circles to give it his eyebrow a little bit of texture, the illusion of texture, right? Give him a little mustache, same thing. Give him a little mustache with the curly Q, curly Q, curly, curly, curly Q. Curly Q. So I'm just doing these curly Q little, like this. Curly Q, curly Q. And his hair, since we're doing his hair. I mean, since we're doing the brows and the mustache, we will do his hair. So look at, can you see that? Curly Q, curly Q, little circles, overlapping little circles. It's not, so, I'm not doing it solid black because I want to give it the illusion or the appearance of texture. So texture, again, is the way something looks and feels. So his hair is probably soft and fluffy, right? So I'm doing these little, little circles. Little, little circles. Let me let you look up close. See those little, little circles? Little, little circles. Thank you. 
Martin Luther was also really um, big on helping others, doing things for others. It's not about what you do for yourself. It's what you can do for somebody else. What can you do for somebody else? What could you do today to help somebody else? You could assist with household things. You can do something kind for someone, a neighbor. We know Martin Luther was a reverend. Could you pray for someone? You could pray for someone. You can make them a card and send them a card. So I'm still doing this curly cue, right? Because again, we're not scribbling. We're creating texture. We're creating the illusion of soft, fluffy, curly cue hair. So I'm just making all these little baby circles in here. Right? The more I go over it, the darker it's going to be. Let's let's make this side a little bit darker. So look, I'm just going to go over it a little bit more. And you see how it's getting darker? Curly Q, curly, curly, curly Q, curly Q, curly Q, curly Q. See, it's a little bit darker because remember the light's going to, the light source is coming from there over here. So see this curly Q here? All right. Let's see. Now, you can make it like an abstract kind of um, impressionist style painting by putting some blue in a shading or pink. Now, I definitely have some pink in here. So you can go in, again, I'm using some diagonal lines with my crayon. I'm going to give him a little bit of pink, right? He doesn't look girly. Just a little bit, give him some color. Right, and again, you can even put some blues in there. You can give a little bit of pink in his lips, and I'm gonna put some blue in there too, and some brown. I can add a little bit of pink in his skin over here, diagonal, diagonal. You can even put it up here if you want to. Okay, now when I add blue, let's see what color. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna look at my crayon color, blue-green. Let's try a little bit of blue-green, see what happens. So I'm gonna use some diagonal. And that's what I mean by impressionist style. So you can, it could be like a reflection. We know that he doesn't really have blue-green, but it's creating that dimension of shadowing I'm gonna let you look up close. See that up close? So it just adds to the shadow effect. And right now his lips are just pink, so I can even put a little bit of that blue in here. Maybe a little bit under his lip down here. Again, we're creating that illusion of shadow. Let's give him a little more. Here. I'm gonna go back into his lips with a little bit of brown here. Give it a little shadow underneath. Give him the upper lip, the bottom part of the upper lip. I'm doing a little bit of brown here. Putting a little bit of brown in his lip. Under his lip his little cleft in his chin. See how he's looking more dimensional? So he's not so flat. Again, I can do that a little bit more on his forehead. A little more on his cheek. That's what I'm saying, you could do this all day long. You have to just keep looking at it and, sh and shading it. You can give him a blue suit, you can give him a black suit. What color suit you wanna give him? Should I give him a black suit? I'm using a crayon. Here's his collar from his white shirt. I'm 
right here, it's a little bit darker because that's where his jacket goes back, right? His collar. What color background do you want? Are you going to put something in there? Oh, I wanted to show you guys something else too. Look at this. So this is just to give you guys some ideas. Could you put a rainbow? Look at it. Living the legacy. So those are the children of today from all over, not just the country, but the world. All different colors, ethnicities, all getting along, right? Living his dream. And then you could put a rainbow in your sky. You could write, again, powerful words. You could put unity, love. You could put MLK, you could put I have a dream, put your favorite quote. You could put a rainbow. This is your artwork. So I just want to give you guys some ideas in the background. So again, you could do, you know, celebrate MLK or in honor of MLK. You can make a card for someone and write something to them. I'm still using those diagonal strokes. You see that? With And I'm using a black crayon. Now, I'm going to go lighter as I go off the edge of the page. So I'm not, I'm going to, see that? It's overlapping. It's going to get darker. More and more and more and more and more lines. And then as I come out, I'm going to fade out. So I'll, I'm going to go a little bit lighter. I'm not going to overlap it as much. We want it to be darker around Martin Luther's face so that it makes it pop out. And even over here, you can just kind of shade it in lightly. Because remember, the light source is over here. Light source is over here, left side. So it's going to be lighter on that side. Darker on this side, especially under his face. Tie. You can have any color tie you want. You could put people on it. You could do silhouettes. All right. I'm going to stick to, with the green background. So I'm just going to use a green crayon. I'm going to stick with the, so that's actually like a like yellow green. So I don't, the yellow green is just hard for you guys to see. So I'm just going to go back to a regular green that says green. I love blue green too. So maybe you want to do the background blue green. It's your artwork. Again, you could do a rainbow. You could stick with your pencil and do shading. You could put a flag. That would look awesome. An American flag. You could put some stripes and stars around it. You could put freedom. There goes my crayon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I sure hope you share your artwork with me. You can check in at Artist at Heart Paint Party with a photo. You can message me, text me. Check out the website, artistatheart.org. It has all of the, it has, artistatheart.org has like the Instagram and the Facebook and all that stuff. You can email me a photo. However you get a photo to me, I love seeing what you guys are creating. Now, if you guys want to come on the camera today and share what you've created, you can. It's up to you. I want to see in your chat if you want to. If not, we can just keep coloring and creating. Oh, chalk. Chalk is a great idea. Isabella said she added chalk to hers. So you guys, I love thinking outside the box, using any supplies you have. Everyone loves to have an art supply list. And I love to say use whatever you have. But, you know, if I taught art for so long, and certain people have certain supplies that they love and certain people have textile uh, texture issues. So some of my kids did not like to paint. Some of my kids did not like to use oil pastels. So I would have stations set up and I would really let the kids a lot of times choose their supplies. So if I taught a Martin Luther King Jr. lesson, I would say, how are you going to execute this artwork? How are you going to create this artwork? So I would even let them use clay, use chalk, use oil pastels, use pencil, use paint. So I would, of course, start the school year with teaching them about different supplies. And then I had stations set up and I would give them, you know, today's lesson is going to be about Martin Luther King and it's going to be about different textures and value, how you can show values with your colors. So, and then the kids would decide how to uh, show that. So I'm going to have the Flanagan family come up and share what they've created. Hey, guys. Hi. Let's see what you got. Oh, that looks great. I love that. Fantastic. Clover did her own thing today, but... I love all those colors. That looks great. You guys did an awesome job. Wow. Are you guys using crayons? We're using colored pencils. Colored pencils. That's awesome. Thank you. I'm glad you guys are doing this with me today. Bye. Bye, Bye you guys. Thank you. Bye. All right. Let me make sure you guys have the link. So if you want to share, make sure you turn your volume down. Let's see if I can get you guys the link. It says StreamYard. And you don't have to share. Uh, the Flanagans have been watching uh, since um, forever. They've been watching since we started doing this in March. I'm trying to get you guys the link. Let me see. Hold on. You guys tell me if you guys see this or not. Okay, let's see. Now that's in the group. So it's so funny because when I'm live, Facebook sees it one way, YouTube sees it one way, and then my subscribers see it differently. So the Flanagans are in the subscription group and they see it easier, but and I'm right now on my Facebook page. So I'm trying to get it to the rest. Oh, there it is. Hold on. Give me a sec. Let's see. Can you guys see that now? So it's the StreamYard link. Well, hi, Holly Ann. I have two things to show you. 
one, I have this. Oh, awesome. That looks and great. Also, also, I did this sometime. Oh, I love the colors. That looks really pretty. Thank you. Thanks, Holly Ann. Welcome. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Are you sure you guys are really creating today, huh? This is mine. Oh, I love that. That looks great. All right, you're this. This one is mine. Are you guys using colored pencils or crayons? Color pencils. I use crayons. Okay, they look really nice. This is mine. Oh, that I looks have cool. shading with the face and the lips. Yeah, that looks really nice. You guys are doing a really good job with the shading. We like try to get up your art in, but we like never have time to. <laughs> we don't normally we don't normally have time for your art because we're um in school. So tell me, what, like, what's the best time for you guys to do it? Night? You guys Friday night? Like six o'clock, maybe ish. And then what about um? I just figured people do it on the weekends. Would you guys like? Would you ever do an activity on the weekend? Probably, yeah. probably like in the middle of the day, not like at night. Like on a Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I lost the tooth, and it's coming in. <laughs> That's fantastic! You got to make a self-portrait with a with a tooth missing. <laughs> I have like three. I have three teeth that haven't come in. Let me see. Get, come, come, come. Look at those! Oh my gosh! Do they go under your pillow? Your teeth? <laughs> Um, my the tooth fairy did get my teeth. You guys, thanks for creating with me. I'm really trying to figure out best times for everybody to be able to create. So I'll work on uh, different times. So you guys can do it more, okay? And um, today, yesterday, my sister Natasha lost her tooth, and it and, and it had a brace on it. Oh. <laughs> I have braces. And then um I the other day well it was like near Christmas time, I had like Santa on like FaceTime or something. And um I couldn't FaceTime him or anything, but I could message him and then what I ended up doing was I lost my tooth during that time, and I got like a, a like candy and three tooth fairy coins. That's awesome. Do you guys use the art app for the videos? Did you ever use that? Um, Do you know that all the videos you guys watch on an art, an art app? You know that. <laughs> And watch art videos on the app. I'll talk to mom and make sure she knows. Uh -huh. All right, you guys. Thanks so much. Enjoy your day of life. Bye. 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 Any more teeth? At least for today. Bye. Bye. Hi, Isabella. Bye. How are you? Been doing so long. <laughs> this is what I That's made. Amazing! Oh my gosh, I love that. You did a great job. And I made the cheekbone here. That looks amazing. You did a really good job. Highlight like the shading of that. Thank you. And if I you want to, yeah, go. Nice, my fingers. Let's do your. To and if you um like want to go back into the eye with like an eraser, you can pick get rid of some of the dark. Will you wait after you wash your hands? Because it's hard to do it when you're so dirty. But I love yeah. that. I can tell you're really working it. So it looks awesome.
Thank you. Thanks for sharing. I haven't seen you in a while. I missed you. I miss you too. <laughs> Have a good Bye. day. You too. Well, hey, girls. <laughs> Look at your shirts. I love that. Rosa Parks. Nah. Nah. I love it. You know, I'm so glad you guys made it. I know I did this like last minute. I was like, we got to do an MLK project. So I'm so glad you guys made it. I was, I didn't know if you guys were going to be able to come out at the last minute. So let's see what you're making. I want to see your MLK. That is amazing. I have a dream. I love that. Yeah. Nice shading. And what's in the kit? You have a whole kit of pencils? Oh, that's nice. Okay. This is those. We each have one. So there's charcoal and chalk and erasers. And the moldable. Wow. Oh, you know what they call that? A kneaded eraser. I love them. <laughs> yes. When I was in school, I would just sit there and play with it and play with it and play with it. Love those kneaded eras. And, you know, people used to take mine from me. I'm mean, like, where's just to play with it. I'd be in art class and they would, like, take my kneaded eraser just to play with. I know. Yeah, that's really <laughs> awesome. it's fun. It's fun though. Yes, but I love needed erasers. So, all right, girls. Well, I'm sure glad you made it today. Wednesday again. We're gonna do Wednesday. Yep. I'm that looks done. awesome. We'll see. I'm not done with yes. I colored. I just colored the printed thing. And for this, um, I actually, we, well, it's traced from the thing we um, put it on the window and then traced it. It's still, still working. I love that. And what's the shade? What are you using to shade it? Is that color pencil? Um, yes, I have. Um, I'm using the Prismacolor ones. Love Prismacolor. I couldn't find mine, so that's why I got the Crayola at the drugstore. <laughs> yeah, and then you can also blend stuff with like toilet paper. paper. Toilet paper. Oh. Oh. Yes, you can. <laughs> and your finger. Always yeah. try your finger, too. Even better than paper. <laughs> yeah. Except that you end up with smudges all over your face. Yeah. yeah. And there's a really good episode of Doctor Who. It's probably called Rosa Parks and the Doctor. But it's like, you know, about Rosa Parks and Dr. Martin Luther King. It's really good. They're all together. Oh, I haven't seen that one. Did you guys see our friend Martin? No, we haven't seen that one. Nope. It's, it's, uh, all right, it was pro it's probably from before you were born, but it's outstanding. So it's on YouTube. I put the link on there. It's called Our Friend Martin. It's really, really good. So check it out. Okay, and there's also a show on Netflix, and um, it's called Keep on the Age of Wonder Beasts, and it's kind of the same thing, like um, coexisting peacefully. Yeah, 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 yeah that you have to. And that like, you have to coexist this is together. Kiko, and then that's her pig Mondo, mm -hmm. and then it's like pet all the animals. And, and that's um, like. And it's, uh, it's yeah, about, it's about humans you know, and mutants existing together. Oh. Yeah, it's like not, not driving each other out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like it. It's a good idea yeah. for for kids. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And it's kind of yes. Like, she just like um Kipo wants everything to be peaceful, so she's kind of exactly. like exactly. Yeah. It's like peaceful. I think adults need to watch it. I think the kids really have. I think the kids have the peaceful part down. It's the adults that need a little work. The adults are struggling with that. Yes. yes. Yep. So we need the kids to teach the adults to be more accepting and peaceful, right? Yes. Exactly. We, need, we need to go to. We need to go to the movie theater and request to put people in the age of wonder beasts on. <laughs> or you talk to so him. Yes. Yeah. Or you can just tell everyone to watch it on Netflix. <laughs> I'm going to check it out on Netflix. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> girls. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Heart. <laughs> Big giant heart. Big giant heart. I saw that the other day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, who's here with me? She's dark. Aliquest, Wilson, I have you, but you're, you're coming up. I wonder if you hid your camera from me. Ella Quest Wilson, she has her. Let's try it again. Hmm. She's not. Let's let's check out Sage Natasha again. Hey girls! <laughs> I 
wanted to see you guys creating on the floor. I love that. It looks so fun. <laughs> I was like, I just, you guys look like you are having so much fun over there. By the way, um, I'm just letting you know we're cleaning up. Oh, we're like that's, cleaning. Well, that's cleaning not the up. most fun part. Hey, did you guys watch the Browns yesterday? Did you watch the I last watch TV on Wednesdays or Sunday nights. I didn't know if you were a football fan. We lost. I, 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 I didn't have to go to a run out with TV. If there's football, basketball, baseball, anything on TV, I'll watch it. Yes. All right. Well, you didn't miss anything. But anyway, that's all right. Good, good cleanup. I should, this is a good thing to show people. See, this is the cleanup part I never show. Thank you. Um, I don't know back in the waiting room because we were like we logged off and like now we're back on because you're in the little green room down below and i saw you guys cleaning up and i wanted to put you on i won't do it to you again <laughs> bye you guys hey ella i can see hey. you now <laughs> hey so hey i couldn't see you before so this is what i've been working on oh. There we go. I'm not. Oh, that done looks with really yet. nice. Uh huh. Thanks. Good job with the shading. Thanks. That looks really nice. I'm on the drawing, so I'm happy I got caught up. Yeah, take your time. It looks great. Send a picture when you're done. Thanks for joining okay. us. I'll Thanks. see you soon. Nice to see you again. Bye. You too. Bye, Ella. All right, you guys. Whether it's a printable template, if you guys join the free Facebook group, there's a printable template in there. Whether you shade it all in pencil, doing different values, created textures with the way you created curly cues, keep creating, have a fantastic day, pay it forward, do something kind for someone, and I will see you guys again soon. Thank you so much for joining me. God bless you guys. Bye, you guys.